Are there too many egos in the game? Paula, I'm thinking back on my memories of when you were playing versus how I, I see things now. I remember Alan Smith in tears, buckets of tears when Leeds United were relegated. You would remember that better than my. You know him personally. We don't see that sort of passion. We don't see that sort of, to an extent, professionalism and love for the club now. Without going into it too deeply, um, I think the under-23s, um, the under-23 league was one of the biggest mistakes that's been brought in because you're creating a false environment for young footballers. Um, if you, you've got players at 20, 21, 22, swanning around, walking around the training ground, thinking that they've made it and they're not training with the first team yet, and Scott will tell you when you're a youngster and, and you know growing up and you're trying to get into the first team, if you're not training with the first team, by the time you're 17 or 18, you probably miss the boat. But the under-23s now gives young footballers an environment where they're training alongside the first team and they, they think they've, they've made the first, you know, they, they've made it as a footballer at 21, 22 because they're playing in this under-23 league when actually the old reserve league used to be for you know, senior players to get fit and young players to come through and to get into the into the first team. I think it's, it's it creates a false environment to give a, a younger generation false hope that they are going to be Premier League footballers and, and makes a lot think that they are. Whereas if, you know, we've, we've seen the likes of Mason Mount, Declan Rice, you know, you look at the England team, Rashford, Sterling, if you're good enough, you're young enough, you're, you're Gareth Southgate, I'll give you your opportunity. And at that age, you should be pushing in the first team and, and the international squads. It's fascinating. Scott? I've, I've personally never thought of it like that. Yeah, no, totally agree. I think the under-23s in principle and in theory sounds great, but actually, you know, you can be 22 years of age and still not playing men's football. You know, and that's not right. Robbo's totally right. If you're 17, 18, back in our day, you'd be at least training with the first team. If you're not, when you get to 20, you're going to have to find another club. Now it's giving players an extra couple of years to think they are going to make it when they're still not even playing men's football. So, you know, and again, the, the philosophy, I like the way football is. I want football to be played on the ground, but that's not to say that I think every team should play it because that would be boring. But, you know, there's this ideology way of playing with youngsters that actually when you play in the first team, whether it be Premier League, Championship, League One or League Two, it's like, wow. This is nothing like that we've been brought up to, to, to adjust to. So, no, I'm 100% behind Robbo and agree with what he says, you know, but that's the way that football's gone at the moment. There, there are some very positives the way football has gone. There are some negatives, which I think us Moniel pros were saying or would be saying, look, if it had been a bit more this way and if you keep this of the past but still move on as well, you can make the game even better and you can help the players even more. And I think that's the important thing, really. We want the players to be ready mentally, physically, tactically and emotionally to hit the, the men's football, the, the first team, whether that be Premier League, Championship, League One or League Two.